before they clean it. We're just trying to establish a little contact with you. We're here out of respect. We're here out of love. You know, we care. We can't save everyone, but we want to help if there's anyone that does need help. You still have a voice. That voice can be heard. Hope. Is that what you said? I hope? That's I heard hope. I heard hope. Do you know what this is called? This box? This box? Death. It feels so permanent. But by now, most people in the world feel there is some type of afterlife. A transfer of our energy into another form, but still maintaining some type of consciousness. For spirits that have passed through the tunnel, it is said they experience a multi-dimensional place as well as the feeling of an all-loving and powerful source. But what happens to those that don't move on or go into that proverbial light? How long can they be stuck? And is there anything we as living beings can do to help them? Of course there's no definitive way to prove it and none of us may truly ever know until we die. But as people that have a belief in something, we believe we are able to help lost souls. We've come to believe it doesn't matter what religion you follow, or how and when you pray, or even what God you believe in. Just the willingness to ask for help and to believe in a power greater than yourself is the key. Everyone has the right to choose the light. It is the power. It is the power. My name is Josh. And with our other members, Chris and Nikki, we are Hope, helpers of paranormal entities. Join us as we take on our first location, Indian Key, located off the coast of beautiful Isla Mirada, Florida. As I gaze at the small 11-acre island from the shore, I wait with anticipation for the arrival of my good friend, a man that taught us a lot, Steve Huff of Huff Paranormal a true pioneer in spirit communication. The teacher finally meets the student. This journey starts at Robbie's Marina, where we will rent a boat and take a short trip to this abandoned island with hundreds of years of history. Steve arrives. We make our way through this small kiosks and shops and head to the boat. It's almost as if the island is calling our name. We load up the boat and begin our journey in finding the light. From Indians, pirates, to Spaniards, this island has seen its fair share of violence, murder, and mayhem. It was once home to Indians before being pushed out by other transients such as Spaniards. It became settled by a man named Captain Jacob Houseman. On August 7, 1840, the island and small village was attacked by Indians. Few were killed and many were injured as Houseman and his wife escaped. We approach the island and prepare to dock. Jacob Jacobson, a man who has studied the island for the last 35 years, awaits under the pavilion to tell us about what he's learned. I got interested in the island about 35, 40 years ago, and I decided to uh, do a lot of research on it with the, li the local libraries and libraries around the United States. And I read a lot about the, uh, the different people who lived here. So I read a lot about Dr. Brian who was killed here. He was a, uh, a doctor that was a, uh, a botanist. He was commissioned by President Madison to uh, do a lot of botany here in the South, in the South Florida. Well, you probably know that the, the Massacre of 1840 came along. Remember back in those days, they had rifles that fired one shot. Flintlock rifles and percussion rifles. And so when the Indians came, they would have killed a lot more people. But the Johnson guys said, we'll give you all our rifles. You stand here when you fire one shot, kill as many as you possibly can, and we'll escape. So the five Johnson brothers got together. They had a couple of tomahawks and the rifles. The Indians would come, they'd kill one or two of them, reload, or pick up a rifle, but they couldn't reload fast enough because they were coming so fast. So they were they were they were all died, but they let a lot they let a lot of people off 
uh, or a lot of people that skate because of them. We make our way over to the town square. Here is where you'd find the blacksmith, courthouse, and hotel. This island is truly an interesting location. Just to discuss the devices we'll be using, we will use the traditional PSB-7 and Sanji and Spirit boxes. Radios that skip through stations at a very fast rate. We will also be using the portal. Made by Steve, this device allows an audio source to come through using reverb and noise cancelling to help with communication. And lastly, we'll be working with a number of software programs that act like virtual radio boxes, but use internet radio, sound banks, and frenetic sounds as the audio source for spirits to use. Some have refuted the validity of the spirit boxes, and especially the programs, but it's pretty easy to sum up. Any box or program that can produce a pertinent and intelligent, valid response to a question, it works for spirit communication, bottom line. Warehouse complex. It's uh, in front of you is what remains of the largest building on the island and the hub of Houseman's wrecking activities. Uh, salvage goods were stored here. Archaeological investigations have yielded fragments of china, glass, clothing, and much more. There is also strong evidence that proves this structure was used again and again throughout the decades. Definitely a cool structure. We should definitely do a session here. Definitely. All right. Do you have that map on you? Can I see that map for a second? So if we're here, we're at the warehouse. Yeah, right there. Houseman's grave is right up here. Here. All right. All right. Let's do that. Yeah, I want to see what this looks like. So he says that this is not a real grave then. I guess. So he's he said implying? even though great, even though Houseman's not buried on the minute, island. So what? They took him up. They dug him up. I guess because it was vandalized. The grave was vandalized. Yep. So this is just the so recreation buried, of what it was once was. Up. Yeah. I wonder if he stays here on the island. If he wanted to be buried here, I'd imagine. I mean, this was his island. This was his island. So he was taken off. Why of his wouldn't island, he be here? You know, why wouldn't he? All right, I'm getting my feeling. I get Are you big really? time. Yeah. You can so kind of see may, it. We may have confirmation yeah, that, that uh, Jacob Houseman was here. I Let's, think he's here, actually. We are requesting the presence of the captain. Captain Jacob Houseman, are you here? Are you upset that your body's moved to another location? We want to know who's here on this island. Who needs help? This is a beautiful place to be, but what if someone's here that needs any help? That was either murdered or fell ill? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Why don't we get the gear and go back to, you wanna to go to the warehouse? Let's do and this, do? yeah. Do the warehouse, yeah. okay. Let's, let's, uh, let's go back and, re and let's do that. Yeah, we'll use the portal over there. This looks like a good spot. Yeah. This is the old warehouse spot we were just looking at before. I think if we set up on that wall in there. Yeah, that's a good spot. You good? Right in the middle. All right, cool. Okay. So we'll set up right over here. Good okay. spot, right? That sounds so different than this. Not in a bad or better way, just different. Yeah. All right, so we're here in the uh, the old warehouse complex that uh, Captain Jacob Houseman had built. And so we've done a walk around session, and now we're trying to reach out with some of this different software that we have that's available. And this is the GB1 used with the portal that you created. And uh, so we're gonna ask, is there anyone here that wants to, we're gonna ask, is there anyone here that wants to talk to us? Come on through, you can use this device. We'll hear you. Captain Jacob Houseman, are you here? I'm getting chills. So am I. Can okay. you come around us right now? 
I mean, I really feel so something I. extremely strong. Like every hair on my yeah. head is standing there's, up. There's a surge going through both of us right now, which usually means someone's here. That's okay. So use our energy because we're inviting you, you know. We're here out of good and respect and love. We are protected by the light. So nothing negative can attack us. So nothing negative can attack us. Getting started. Good. Can you learn how to use this? I am. I am. I am. I am. That's Thank a you. Strong answer. Yeah. Captain Jacob Houseman, we're asking you to lead this. You were the leader here on this island. Are there Indians here as well? You know. We've read a lot of stuff about what's happened on this island. Who's here that was murdered? Should we try a different app? So Nikki, I'm gonna invite you to come down here with us and see if maybe you can channel a little bit. So, I'm going to ask you, Nikki. Captain Jake mentioned the Johnsons earlier in his interview. They would have killed a lot more people, but the Johnson guy said, we'll give you all our rifles, you stand here when you fire one shot, kill as many as you possibly can, and we'll escape. Who do you, who do you feel that's here? Do you, do you feel any presence of anyone here? You feel Jacob Houseman? Okay. So I'm going to ask if you can if you can connect with him. And with him. Before I ask you any specific questions, is there anything that you'd like to say? He doesn't want to discuss. Anything. He doesn't want to discuss what happened here. No. No. Where are you normally? Where's your spirit? Where do you stay? Here. You stay here on this island. Yeah. Now let me ask you a question here, a personal question. When you when you died, did you cross over? No. What do you think would happen if you did cross over? I'm not gonna try to get you to, I'm just asking. Just asking. This land would go underwater, which I don't think it would, but he that's thinks, what he thinks. He thinks he's keeping this yeah. This afloat, this place. How many people are here? I got like under, I got the number like 17. There's only. That's what I got. I just heard. Jacob, can you come back through the box? Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> Is it hard to channel through me compared to the portal? You still here, Jacob? She's still here, you think? Nikki? Yeah. Nikki. Nikki. Just said Nikki. Do me a favor, Nick. Take over on that for a minute. So, yeah. I'm going to ask. I believe that I have a staff. A spirit guide that's an Indian. And I'm gonna call him White Feather. And I'm gonna ask that that spirit guide help us now. Ye you know, I believe, as a spirit guide and 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 assigned to help us with this work, that you know who's on this island that needs help. We respect Captain Jacob, we respect any other spirit that's here, but we would like to really help if we can. That's what we want to do, not just investigate. So I'm gonna ask my spirit guide, I'm gonna ask my higher power as well, the Big J, to help us in this area, bring forth any spirit that would like some help. To help us in this area, bring forth any spirit that would like some help. Now I don't understand it, but the EVP bring forth was said right before the phrase came out of my mouth. 
How does that even happen? Okay. So I'm going to ask for you to come through me, and I'm going to see if I can tap in at all. He says, I'm getting that there's three souls that want help right now. Can I get confirmation? Can I get some confirmation through the box that there are three souls or three spirits here that would like some help? Are there, are there three here that want help? Want help. Want help. It's like two women and a child. Two women and a child. Can I get confirmation of this? I got like under, I got the number like 17. There's only. That's what I got. There are 17. You heard you said 17? 17, didn't you? There are 17. 17. <laughs> There are 17 souls. Are you saying that there are 17 souls that need help? That's correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 So this is good. This is very good. So for the 17 souls that are here, okay, I ask that you please gather around us. Gather around us, okay? All right, so for the 17 souls that are here, I'm gonna instruct you guys. If you knew of a God when you were alive, if you knew of a God when you were alive, I'm gonna ask that you ask for them. Ask for that God. Please ask for God to come take you home. It's very simple. You just have to ask for help. No one can help you unless you ask. No one can take your will from you. You have to ask. And we're gonna pray for the light to appear and we're gonna pray for angels to, to, to help you. We're envisioning this white light. It's shining down on us now, here. Yeah, I heard the child two or three times now. I definitely picked up on a child, so. Yep. You want to try the Vosibus? Let's try it, and we'll know within a couple seconds. A couple seconds if we're locked in on it, because that app is either yay or nay. <laughs> okay. But if they lock into it, all right, it, guys, bear with us. We're trying our different one. different software here. So, do you guys not like this app? At this point, we're almost ready to move to another location. We just don't know if we've helped anyone despite making solid contact. Can anyone use this? I know we're throwing a lot of things at you guys. We're trying to just see what works what's best easier? for you. We're trying to see what's easier for you. As we stand here and I just think about it as we're doing this, it's like, you know, it's just absolutely incredible to think that right here as we're standing here in these ruins and these places that there is another plane. Oh, I know. Existence it's insane to think about it. Of spirits that are standing here, literally next watching to us, us, watching exactly. us. Exactly. All right, so let's wrap this up here. All right, so we're going to shut it down. Any spirit that's here with us, that's been here with this session, we invite you to please follow us and try to help any other spirit that's left. And then we're going to ship off. Yeah. You know? We leave the warehouse complex and follow a path that takes us past the ruins of more small cottages and homes. In 1960, an unmarked grave was found in this very area of the island. We find the old Howe complex, home to Charles Howe and his family. It was said the Indians didn't burn his home, but pretty much destroyed everything. We're talking about Charles Howe and his five and his, his family. Are any of you still here? You know what this is right here in my hand? Josh made it. We know that it's it. We know that it's 
you know what it's called? Charles, are you here? Charles Howe? Is your family here? If you're stuck here. But this is what I believe. What I believe is that if you cross over, you, you could still come back here. Can you tell me what it looks like where you are? Ghosts. 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 You see ghosts? <laughs> is the town still put together? Is it like it was when you were alive? Do you, for example, this house, do you still see it as a house? If there was one thing that you wanted us to know about your world, about your plane, what is it? Make it. All right, well, we're gonna leave here in a few minutes. Yeah, we only have a few minutes left. So if there's anything you would like to say. I've heard of a Mary coming through. Now I get she was, she's been here kind of following us, just kind of following us and listening and watching. Mary, can we say a prayer for you? I feel you're a very kind woman, maybe a school teacher or someone. Or someone. You know, again, I go off of what I can, yeah. you know? It's like you never know and you don't get confirmation exactly. until later, man. All right, guys, we're gonna be getting out of here. Before we sign off, is there anything you'd like to say? So the foundation, Charles Howe's house and his family. All right, so for any spirit that's here that was not able to come through, that's about consistent with the burst of energy that's coming through. We ask that any spirit, we ask that any spirit that's here that would like help, you ask that would like help, you ask for your higher power. This is a delight. It almost ask for God. Know that no help can come. It's very consistent that this thing gets yes. loud when we start playing. This thing gets yes. loud when we start playing. Are there angels here? These rocks. These rocks. Robbers. Robbers. There's no robbers here. We're not robbers. We're here to help you. We are taking nothing from you. He says. Nothing from you. He says. That's what I say, yes. Believe what I say. Feel what's in my heart. All right, guys, we have love for you. Yes, thank you very okay. much for talking Remember, to us. Remember, if at any time you ever want to leave and come back here but get some help, ask for God to come take you home. And don't be afraid of that white light. Something. Thank you. All right, you. guys. We love. We have love for you. We're signing off. Goodbye. Bye. We're off. Hopefully, we yeah. helped. I mean, hopefully, we did something good. I know we felt some stuff yeah, quite a definitely. few times. So, all right, awesome. we'll wrap up and head you know, back to the boat. On to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> it was time to get back to the boat and leave this beautifully haunted island. We just hope that we were able to help at least one soul find the light. And despite capturing evidence that suggests we've been able to do this before, it's still a true test of our faith. Until the day comes that we meet the big guy in the sky ourselves, we just won't know for sure. As this subject continues to humble us, we forge on looking for more answers and to be of service, which leads us to our next location. Key West.
located only 90 miles from Cuba, and once the home of Ernest Hemingway, this town is extremely haunted. Like Savannah, New Orleans, and St. Augustine, this town is also rich in history regarding the paranormal. But before we dive into that history, Steve and I make our way over to Coffee Plantation located on Carolyn Street to have a little chat over a good old cup of coffee. Tao Glory, the owner of this fine establishment, shares his thoughts on ghosts in his town. We uh, arrived here in 2003. Uh, my view on the paranormal is, uh, I really have not ever seen anything, so it is for me very hard to believe that, uh, that anything like that exists. There are numerous stories of all different kind of uh, spirits that are still hanging around the churches and the theaters and, and some of those historic homes over here. But, uh, and great stories, really. But uh, I have not ever seen anything yet myself. So we're yeah. here in Key West, how about that? This is a cool. This is a cool little spot. This coffee shop. Man. It's very cool. I mean, I'm just happy to be here. It's, a, it is. it's This is a. This is a cool town, man. I mean, I'll tell you really quickly that it. it um, this is where it started for us. You know, there was this town that's so haunted and so it's got so much. I mean, Cayuso. I mean, the Spaniards gave this town the name. It's like Island of Bones. Mm. You know. So I mean, this was a. The Indians used to use this island. As, as like a grave, as a, just throwing bones, you know? So, I mean, it was really wild. And then, you know, once we found your videos, you know, your videos put us in this different direction by seeing how, you know, you can communicate with these spirits through, through different boxes, mm -hmm. through different means, you know, just gathering amazing EVPs, whispers yeah, even EVPs, yeah. alone. Because that stuff alone, when I saw your, you know, I yeah. was like, well, this is incredible. Those are things you can't explain. Um, what do we believe about what we're doing? You know, there's days that I feel, Steve, that, you know, I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Is this even real work? Is this even legitimate? Um, am I boxing myself in such a, you know, non-objective corner? Am I still objective? You know, can I look at this stuff objectively? Yeah. Can I, you know, uh, what's the motivation? I mean, you know, naturally, I want to help spirit. Exactly. I'll get us some more coffee real quick. Yeah, perfect. If that's all right. All right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. This is good coffee, by the way. It is. <laughs> Where do you think we'll be in 10 years with this field? God, what a great going. question. What a great question. You know, I would say I'm hoping that we are in a place that the universe has allowed the, the proper people to work on the proper projects and the, and the right technology to come through where we are able to clearly have a conversation without having it to be only through intuitive means clearly have an undeniable conversation with spirit. Yes. Let's hope, man. Yeah. Cool, man. Great. All right, let's pay for our coffee and get out of here. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> So coffee talk was over, and now it was time to head over to what's been known as one of the most haunted locations in Key West to date. A building with as much history as any other in this town. The Eaton Street Theater. Formerly known as the First Baptist Church, so many stories have surrounded this location of fires, murdered children, and more. We meet up with Dave Sloan of Key West Ghost Hunt to share more with us. My name is David Sloan. I'm the owner of the Key West Ghost Hunt. I moved to Key West in 1996 and started hunting ghosts here. The building we're in right now, it's called the Eaton Street Theater. Uh, it's gone by several different names. Originally, it was a Baptist church. And the first Baptist church started here right around the mid-1800s, about 1850. Uh, and this is actually the third building on property. Uh, they, most of them have burned down. Um, so it's changed a lot through the years but the spirits seem to remain. I'm convinced there are things out there. I like to look at things as a skeptic, but time and time again, I'm shown otherwise. 
uh, what I really believe. I think that quantum physics is one day going to kind of prove things. We're going to find out that these other levels that are leaking into where we are. Um, I don't think we can explain it yet, but I think that's going to help explain what we're seeing as far as the paranormal goes. I think we can definitely help people move on. One of the things we do with our, with our hunt, we say, we don't want to keep them here. It's not like, hey, we need these for our tour. Whenever we encounter a spirit, if we have an opportunity to move it on, we do. And I find a lot of times once we do that, we stop encountering that spirit. Well, we happen to agree with Dave. And now it was time to see who was here. We begin with the portal and a software program. We're here. There's been stories told about this place. We've got, you know, Dave Sloan just came in and explained to us what he's found to be factual and, and not, you know. Um, and so the first time that we were here, Nikki and I, we picked up, this, you know, children yeah. talking. And I picked up an angry man. I don't know. I just heard a child, it sounded like. So let's just... Let's just see and see what we get. You know, okay. I mean, we're maybe something we can make out in real time. You know? Yeah, hopefully. So yes, we're asking that any spirit in this building here, whether it was from the side where there was the mortuary, the house, the church, children, the music teacher, the man that set the fire, who's here? able to use this. I think it's important I clarify. We never truly know who or what is coming through the boxes or the software programs. The goal here is we are looking for intelligent responses to our questions. My name is Josh. This is Steve. We come as friends, we come in peace. Steve what? Steve Huff. And I'm Josh Lewis. And I'm Josh Lewis. Are there children in here? We would like to help the children first. like a man saying that's something that's like not yeah if there's any spirit here that is trying to prevent us from helping children I promise you I will give you a hard time are there any of you here that are looking for help yes Whoa. for the white for the white light are you looking for the light if if so, let us know. How many children are here? I do sense there's a man here that's like kind of being a little bit, um, Trying to be restrictive. Who is that? Whoa. Whoa. Where's that child that just screamed? We're only here to help. Look inside of our hearts and know that we're for real and know that we have that power behind us. We ask for the goodness of our higher power to, to be behind us and strengthen us and we ask that we can help any spirit here. So any child, spirit here. So any child. That was weird. Yeah. Can I ask how many children are here? Can we get an answer on that? Answer on that. Answer on that. We're gonna 
try a different a different piece of software now. So give us a second here. All right, are you still here? Are children here right now? We think they are. Here for the children. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're here to help any spirit, but we're here to help the children first. Come near us. Join us up here. Come up. Yeah, there's no nothing are, to be afraid of. We are good, and we are trying to help, and we can definitely, well, I don't want to say that. What I feel is we can help you move on to a better place, and if you still want to come back and be here or visit, you can do that. But there's a place for you. It's home, and it's not here. Are you yes. showing me this? We yes. are showing you this. We're trying to. So what we're going to do here in a minute is try to help you. And then we want you to confirm if we are helping you. Let us know so we can help other spirits. So we can help other spirits. Walk, Walk through, through this. this light. This sounded like someone who was assisting in the crossing over rather than needing help themselves. Oh, walk, th walk through this light, it you just said, light. I heard light. Oh, good, good. All right, listen, I'm gonna give you guys some basic instruction. Whoever wants to listen and take this, they can. Okay? For the children, please ask for God to come take you home. So the words, God, please come take me home. If you don't know who God is, who God is, as there are so many direct intelligent responses we've got, this is a perfect example. I mentioned God and the response was, he's in the Bible. Yes, he's in the Bible. Yes. But this is a very loving God. Ask him to come take you home. And we're going to pray for you, for the light to appear, and for angels to assist you. Do you see angels? Do you see... Do you see... Do you see... Honestly, I believe the spirits that needed help received it. And that familiar voice saying Jesus said that we were done, well, that speaks for itself. Nikki, can you come up here? Can anyone confirm if any child or spirit got help? So this is Nikki. She's going to communicate with you. She's going. Can you try and tap in and see what we have here? Yeah, I tried back there and I got a little girl named Amy. Amy, is there an Amy here? Nikki, try and connect with Amy. You can you talk to her? How many children are here with her? Twelve. How did they all die? Did they die all separately or did they die together? Separate. Okay. 
All right, let's take a uh, let's take a second. Because I believed the spirits that needed to cross did, the energy changed and I felt it was time to move. One of the most common stories about this church was that a minister caught his wife cheating. As revenge, he burned the church with her inside. What he didn't know was that the music teacher and her students were inside as well. We attempted one last time to reach any of the children. Are the children up here or do they leave? I'm sure many, I'm, I'm sure plenty, that was something, but, that was something, but. We didn't capture much more after that. We headed back downstairs to try one last device before leaving. The SLS X-Cam. A camera that has been able to detect when a spirit is close. But again we got nothing. The place had gone cold, so we decided to pack everything up and head out. But before leaving town, there was one place we needed to visit. The next day after the production crew left, Steve, Mickey, and myself headed over to the first location I ever conducted a session. The Old Key West Cemetery. One of the hottest spots I've ever been to. This impromptu session was so compelling we felt we couldn't leave it out. Just forgive us for the camera work. We shot this ourselves. Starting up, if there's any spirits here. Who's here with us? We know there's a lot of spirit here. We know there's a lot of spirit here. Switched on, we just turned this on. My name is Josh, this is Steve. Steve Huff, Josh Lewis. What we try to do is we try to help spirit when we can. So we just don't try to communicate with you guys. You're always, a lot of you ask for help all the time. So we're here because we want to help you. That's our main goal. That's what we do. Okay. Is there anyone that would like to step back? Is there anyone that would like to step back? Is there anybody here that is looking for the light to move on? Come on through and let us know. What's Help spirit? Benny? What's Help spirit? Benny? Help Benny. What spirit feels stuck? What group of spirits feels stuck here? Are there any children here? Um, is there anyone, um, is there anyone here looking for help, or are you happy where you are? Yeah, if you're happy, if you're happy, we're not trying to move you. Yeah, I'm going to just say that this is what I suggest. I suggest that any spirit looking for help, any spirit looking for help, asks God, Jesus or whoever you feel comfortable with asking for help, for help to come take you home. Gosh. You have to ask for help in order to receive it. In order to receive it. If you're willing to ask for help, ask God for help, then you will receive help. <laughs> This is the instruction I can give you. We can ask for angels. I see. I see. Yeah. We can ask for angels to come help you. Yeah, we can ask for angels to come down and help you. Angels to come down and help you. Questions. Questions. <laughs> what are the questions that you have? Do you have questions for us? Who are you? you? You're coming through, fantastic. Is there, a, is there a woman here? I just 
just heard a female voice. What, what's the woman's name? Does the woman's name start with a J? I don't know. A J. Is there a woman here with a name that starts with a J? Are you picking up a name at all? Are you picking up a name at all? Are you picking up a name at all? I keep getting like Janelle, but that doesn't sound like something that I, I feel like it, you know, so it doesn't feel right. I don't know. Um. 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 Asking for help? Is anyone taking that advice that we gave? If you ask for God to come help you, you can't fail. Take portal. Yeah, that did sound like portal. That's the voice we always get. And that's that voice has said portal many times. Yeah, you just take the portal. Take it where? Do you want us to leave? Man. 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 We are men. We come in peace. We come out of love and respect. We want to just pay you some homage. We want to let you know that you're still here. And we care. We're here for you. It's getting interesting now. And then out of that. I'm feeling somebody over here let out. Somebody's right near me. Who's near Steve? Ah, Steve's going out. Who is by me? By the light. By the light. The light. Now, you... I asked, someone's by us. I said, who's by us? Somebody's near us. The reply was, by the light. Like, they're standing, like, there is light here. There's, is there light by us? Is there light you by Josh and I? Let, let, let me ask you guys. The, la the last time I was here, someone said, show me, show me. The last time we were here, someone <laughs> said that, that we brought Jesus. Can anyone confirm that? Can anyone confirm that Jesus is here with me? With us? Once more. Once more? I personally love Jesus, and so anytime I get confirmation that he's here, I get excited. If you can validate any of that for us, we would know that what we do is working. Yes. Be a Roman Catholic. Be a Roman Catholic. I hear Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic. Well, I may have been raised that way, but I'm just a Christian. I just believe in spiritual means. Man, it's crazy how it's. You're really coming through. Yeah, you are. We're tapped in for sure. Are you like? Are you like sitting here on the portal, uh, using it? Help us understand, please. And become. You become. What, you like become the portal? That's why they like it so much, maybe. <laughs> Are you in the portal, operating it? Let us know. It's like it gives them a voice box. It yeah. Gives them... Can you confirm that someone has gone to the light? This is about what? Because that that came through. Yeah. There's still someone around here. I feel it. This is such a beautiful place.
I don't know, did the woman leave? I want to try the, uh, just the PSP7 for a minute. All right. So we're going to turn this off and we're going to try something else that you can also come through. It's not as awesome. It might be easier, but it may be easier. Right. If you came through this, we thank you so much. All right, we're going for a walk. Let us know if you want us to stop anywhere we can. We begin walking with the PSB7 spirit box as it felt like the spirits were guiding us. Where should we go? Well, how many spirits are walking with us? I'll go that way. Steve was feeling that guidance. Please join us. There's something over here. Yep. There we go. Come on through if you can. A Come on through if you can. A baby? Moments ago, we were told to go talk to the baby that was by the mother. I heard that. Is there a baby here? Is that what this is? Oh, you know what? Look at that. Is this a baby's grave? You have the little cross. Little cross and a little, what looks like a little. Yeah, whose baby is this? My baby. Who lost a child? We can come through. We heard a baby. Left. 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 Were we just led by other spirits to a baby that needed help? Did the baby leave by crossing over? Yeah, he left his clear. Yeah, it was. Did he leave by crossing over? I feel like Jesus picked him up. You know, we're going to head out of here in a little bit here in a few minutes, but we just want to... Can anyone else give us anything? Any other confirmation that we were able to help some spirit today? Did anyone receive help today? Please. Please. I did. He took me? I think we're on the side. <laughs> yeah, no, I think so too, yeah. man. Listen, we're going to say a prayer right now. We're going to say that we are grateful that we're able to do this. We pray that the Lord and Jesus and any other the great spirit in the sky helps us and helps spirit cross over. We pray for you. We want the light for you. And we omit so much love for you out of our bodies, out of our souls right now. Feel it. See it. Go I into would, that light if you see it. I would hug each and every one of you right now. As a matter of fact, you can come up here and give Please, us a hug right now. Come up here and partake in this synergy. In this synergy. I'm envisioning the white light. Yep. Do you see it? Please walk into it if you want to. It's bright, man. We're shining bright, Ooh. man. All right, guys. We love you. 
Yes, we do. And we'll talk to you again. All right, that man. was cool, man. That was really cool, dude. I There's something you, going I on because we have some serious stuff there because the, the, the conversation over there and then I bet you we got more. I feel like we got more confirmation here of helping than we did anywhere else. Exactly. That's what I was just thinking God, myself. Man. I mean, you know, it's just this is a place that, you know, there's a lot that do need help. And that's how it is. You feel a charge when you've made a real connection and captured proof. Knowing that you might have actually helped someone move on is an even more exhilarating feeling. The longer I do this, the less I know. Maybe that's because the longer I do this, I discover how much it is I truly don't know. What I do know is nothing is permanent and change is constant. In the relatively short amount of time we've been doing this work, we've evolved along with the field and technology that allows us to do this. Some of the beliefs I had when I started are completely different from the beliefs I have now, and this work truly continues to humble us and show us none of us really know. But thinking about reaching out to someone, whether they are here or in the hereafter, just feels natural, like the right thing to do. And to hear a voice come through, whether it's a box, a software program, or a Class A EVP, whisper and say thank you that they see the light. It makes all of this worth it.